So tomorrow we're going to continue, continue on Danny the Champ in the World, Chapter 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Four more chapters will be done with this book. And then we're going to move on to Billy and the Mini Pins. Illustrate uh, Quentin Rondo, who is the um, the author. And then Quentin Blake is the illustrate, who will draw the pictures. So yeah, to the front side, the back. Introducing Billy's mother, Billy, Don Mitty, the Mitty Pins. Uh, here's the books that Ronald Dahl did, which I don't have. And these are the picture books right here. These are the picture ones. For Alfia. Table of contents, 10 chapters. Anyway, chapter one has been good. Little Billy's mother was Always telling him exactly what he was allowed to do and what he was not allowed to do. All the things he was allowed to do were boring. All the things he was not allowed to do, to do were exciting. One of the things he was never, never allowed to do, the most exciting of them, exciting of them all was to go out through the garden gate all by himself, for the world beyond, period. On this sunny summer afternoon, Little Billy was me on the chair in the living room, gazing out through the window at the wonderful world beyond. His mother was in the kitchen doing in the ironing. Although the door was open, she couldn't see him. Hold on, guys. Let me get my uh, like card. Like, separate chapter. Hold on, the video still on. Every now and then again, his mother would call out to him, saying, "Little Billy, what are, what are you, up to in up to in there?" And little Billy would, and little Billy would always call back and say, "I'm been, good, mommy." But little Billy was awfully tired of being good. Through the window, he's not so very far away. He could see the big black secret wood that was called the Forest of Sin. It was something. It was something he had always learned, learned, long to explore. His mother had told him that even grown-ups were frightened to go into the forest of sin. 
she recited the, a poem to him that was known in the district. It went like this. Beware the forest of sin. None come out, but may go in. Why don't they come out, little boy? Little Billy asked. Ask her what happened on to them in the wood. That woods, his mother said, it's for the most bloodthirsty wild beasts in the world. You mean tigers, lions? Questioned little Billy. Asked. Much worse like than that, his mother said. What worse than tigers and lions, mommy? Will do doodles are worse, his mother said, and. Horn the wag, swagger, lurs, and snoozy wiser, snoozle wiser, and feminist, violous, knives, which I, that was from the sequel, Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator, which I read a few months back. And all, and worst of all, is the terrible blood sucking, toot plucking, stone cocking spitler. Spitler. There's one of them in there too. A spitler. Mommy, of course. And when the spitler chases after you, he blows clouds of, of hot smoke out of his nose. Would he eat me up? Little Billy asked. It won't go, his mother said. Little Billy did not. Believe a word of this. He guessed his mother was making all it up just to frighten him and stop him ever going out of the house alone. Home alone. And now little Billy was kneeling on the chair, gazing, longing through the at the window at the famous forest of sin. You can see um Billy and his mother tell him the real stuff, like the, like the movie. The Nightmare Before Christmas from Disney. Yeah. Did something like that. Little Billy, his mother called from the kitchen. What are you doing? I've been good, Mommy. Little Billy called back. Just then a funny thing happened. Little Billy began to hear somebody whispering in his ear. He knew exactly who it was. It was the devil. 666 is the devil's number. The devil always started whispering to him when he was especially bored. It would be easy the devil was whispering to climb out through the window. No one would see you. In a jiffy, you will be in the garden. In another jiffy, you will be though, be through the front gate. And yet another jiffy, you would be exploring the marvelous forest of sin all by yourself. It is, it, it is a super place. Do not believe one word of, of what your mother says about Wagglers, Hornwagglers, and Snoozy Wagger, and Verminous Knives, and the terrible blood dirt sucking, tooth too blocking, sunk, stone chuckling spitler, and there's no, there are no such things. What is in there, little Billy Whisper? Wild, wild, wild strawberries, the devil. Whispered back, the whole floor of the fort is, is carpet with wild flower, wild strawberry. Every one of them in luxurious and red and juicy, ripe rip. Go and see for yourself. There were the words the devil whispered softly into little Billy's ear on that sunny day, so on that sunny summer afternoon. The next moment, little Billy had opened the window and was climbing out. You can see um, Billy escape from the house, which is cool. We will find out in chapter two. So chapter two is called Run, Little Billy. Run, run, run. Page 11. We'll find out in Billy and the Me Pen, chapter two, and all the way to chapter 10, the finale. Yeah. Hope you guys the next video and we're gonna find out in the next chapter of Billy and the Mini Pins.